How the hell are you, Johnny? I'm good, man. I haven't talked to you since I was on your show, A Few Good Brews. Uh, yeah. That was like, I was trying to remember. Was that like a year and a half ago, two years ago? When, when the hell was that? I think so, yeah. I think it was uh, like mid-2021. Okay, yeah. okay. You still doing that show? I uh, haven't since we kind of started touring again. As mm-hmm. you know, you know, life gets busy. Um, and it's uh, just fallen a little you know, lower on the priority totem pole. Right. So I, I'd love to, you know, I, I really have a heart for beer and a palate for it. <laughs> um, especially traveling. That's like the best part of it, but it, I, I just don't have time to, to give it what I want to give it right now. Yeah, so no, I mean, you're focusing yeah. on the shows, everything. I, I totally understand how that goes. Um, yeah. well, speaking of traveling though, and a few good brews, what's something, uh, I mean, you you guys have been out for quite some time again now. I know you uh, did, did that uh, co-headlining tour with Asking, and uh, my friends in the tray were out there. I just had uh, Eva from Eva Under Fire on the show, um, oh, so it had like a whole list of, of of people that were on that uh, that tour with you guys uh, uh, about a month ago, and uh, uh, so I know you've been traveling is is basically what I'm getting at there. And uh, what what's been the the beer that you found. I mean, what would it, what have you, uh, anything new, anything new that I need Has beer changed since I've been out on the road is what I'm asking. <laughs> nice. Uh, man, I, I think so since COVID for sure, because I, I feel like craft beer was already starting to kind of like skyrocket and then COVID happened and everybody's home and you know, everybody's got to drink even more, you know? <laughs> and, and so it's like, Oh man, let's make some even weirder beer and, uh, let's, let's just go ape shit with it. Um, so I'm, man, I'm a huge, uh, advocate of, of breweries that take risks. You know, we actually did a beer, uh, nothing more did with urban South from new Orleans. Um, and it was a peaches and cream cream ale. And like, that was the goal of it. It was actually to, you know, you have some cream ale sometimes and it's like, man, this isn't creamy at all. Like, this isn't what I was expecting. I feel like this is false advertisement. (laughs) So it went went big. You're telling me you went big on the flavor profile of cream on this one. It was good, yeah. And subtle peach, subtle, like, cream with the cream. It's like put put a little marshmallow in there, and it was was nice. It was really, really good. Um, Fortunately, the stuff sold out fast and everything, but unfortunately, it's like uh, we have to commit. The band has to commit to, like, a, a lot, you know, in mm-hmm. order to like get it into distribution and everything like that. And at this time, we're we're kind of not doing that. There's also so many breweries out there that are, um, you know, willing to partner up or, or or whatever. And I think ideally, at some point, um, it'd be super badass to have a whole tour outlined with have a having a base recipe, mm-hmm. and then each city is like, hey, put your spin on it. You know, like and yeah. partner with it. Yeah, partner with a charity. Do something cool to give back. That's that's my big goal. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that or have the time to do that, but I think that'd be really badass. Well, if you don't get around it on this time because you're 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 quite busy, I, I understand that. You know, when you get home in between some tours, I know that there's there's some time. I mean, you got family and stuff, of course, to deal with, but. You know, there's, you know, sometimes in between albums or something, that'd be a time to like kind of set up for that. Cause I do love the idea. I mean, and you know, you know, enough of those breweries, they were sending you stuff when you were doing, uh, the, a few good brews. I know that like, and you were kind enough to send me out some of those for me to sample when I was on the show. Um, and you know, getting together with those, uh, with those different, uh, breweries and stuff and coming up with a cool charity thing and like a local thing. So help promote the show, help promote their brewery, whatever it may be. I think there's a, there's a lot of cool opportunities with uh, local breweries these days. There are, you're right. Yeah. So possibly one day, 